Hey FlossTube, welcome back to Basic Stitches. I'm Jordan and I'm on Instagram at littlestitchgirl94. And I'm Jamie and I'm on Instagram as jamiexstitch. We only had two questions this week and both were related to um, my new pattern that I finished. Um, Rural NC Stitcher asked if I had considered charting a cat to replace the dog. And I hadn't considered that, but now that you've asked, I have. So, um, I, that should be pretty quick. So I'll see if I can get one, like. An alternative. Yeah, an alternative charted this week. Um, and then I'll probably just post that on Instagram. Cool. Um, yeah, and it'll be the same dimensions as the dog, so it can just be switched right out. And then Patty Fletcher asked when the pattern would be up for sale, and it went up for sale on Wednesday on my Etsy shop. It's been exciting. It's been fun to see it finished and the everybody's response and how much they've loved it. And I am so grateful to everyone who has loved it and who has said how cute it is and everyone who's bought it. It makes me feel so happy and I appreciate it so much. So That's thank fun. you to everybody. Um, did you have any finishes this week? <laughs> You're funny. No. <laughs> the only finish I had was like actually finishing this. So I did it as on a foam block and then my sparkly walked. ribbon around it. <sighs> so cute. I love it. And then I've had it displayed up on my shelves in my kitchen with, or in my dining area with um, all of my patriotic stuff because we're going to be super patriotic in January. Yeah. You can be patriotic any time of year. I mean, really. And isn't it next month that's President's Day? Yeah. February. So, see? Be patriotic. Uh, we don't have any, like, winter decor. So, I finished that. So, we're just... And I won't get to display it in July because we'll be moving. So, it's up in January. It works. Oh, my dog is kind of... He won't stop licking me. Um, well, that... You... So, that was your finish. For yeah. the week, which was a huge finish. You had been stitching like crazy on that to stitching like it's your job. Yeah, I had it it stitched by last week, but just had to FFO it. And I ran out of hot glue halfway through um, putting the ribbon around it. And I text my husband seriously like 25 oh. or 30 gifts <laughs> of crying because I thought my life was over. You should always have a stock of hot glue. <laughs> well, I do, but I left it at my in-laws oh. when I decorated for the Christmas party last month. And so I've been borrowing my husband's grandma's um, hot glue gun. And then I ran out of the one stick of hot glue that she sent with it. So I had to go get more. <laughs> Life is yeah. hard. Yeah. Yeah. First world problems. Um, <laughs> okay, I, I I have a mess here. I don't know where it is, what I've stitched on. So we can just go through our whips and then when I get to what I actually stitched on, I can show you. How about you? I'll show what I actually have stitched on because I had it set aside separate. Yeah. Okay. Totally one thing. I didn't, I wasn't that organized when I set up. It, it took me a bit to get it set up anyway, so. Um, I didn't stitch at all until Friday from Sunday was it that I finished, um, fire reclaim until Friday. I didn't do any stitching. I was like kind of burnt out. And then Jamalyn wanted me to go over to her house and have a night stitching together, which was really fun. Um, we got crumble cookies and sat and cross stitched. And so I pulled out... Um, Tulip House, this is hands-on design, and I'm working on the main pattern, and I hadn't worked on it in a long time. Yeah. And it made me laugh, because I was, I, like, it's been calling my name, and I got mine out, and then suddenly you got yours out. I'm like, oh, 
is now calling your name again too. Yeah. <laughs> I only had these two windows when I went over to her house. And then I got um all of the red done and the other window. And then I started doing this other red, but messed up and had to unpick that the next morning. And then yesterday I outlined everything, but I need to stitch back over it because I've only crossed it one way. Since you're sewing yours, that looks good. And mine is right here. So I'm, I haven't done any more, but I'm just showing you my whip. I think I should. That's how much I have on mine. Now I want to stitch mine even faster. <laughs> It's cute the more <laughs> you're competitive. <laughs> no, it's cute the more there is. Yeah, <laughs> let's be that honest. Stuff. You're competitive. <laughs> a little bit. I get it from you. Well, yeah. Do you want to just alternate whips? Yeah, go for it. Okay. So this is kind of our um, whip, whip parade. parade of whips that we have started. Things that we have at least a stitch in. Um, I have about a few other things kitted up that I don't have a stitch in besides so yeah I also have a couple things that are things I want to work on this year that mm -hmm. I don't currently have something going on so I'm going to show these ones together this is my um the ornaments from hands-on design and I have currently started believe and be jolly and this one is one from the magazine, and this is plenty. Cute. So my first one to show is the Waxing Moon Halloween House Trio. I have completed the Halloween House up here, and I'm working on um, treats. I'm actually kind of putting this one away until more into fall, but I will continue to work on... Um, a trio set so and that's where I am on the treats house Aww. so but I'll pull it out next fall like and I might pull it out in the summer if I do like um, the stitching a different pattern each week type thing or each day kind of thing maybe I'll pull it out and get it finished but as of right now I'm not actively working on it my next one is the bookstore from Little House Needleworks, Hometown Holidays. And I still, like, I haven't worked on this in a while. It's just the outline of the bookstore. I want yep. to find those, but there are so many other things calling my name, and I am not really feeling Christmassy right now. Oh. The other one that I've shown, and I don't think I've maybe done 12 stitches on this since I showed it last. Um, it's the hands on design, the peace on earth. It's the December from year of chalk. And I only just did a little bit down here and then I got interrupted, but I'm going to continue to finish this even though Christmas is over. Um, I have January through April done, so I might as well finish this and then move on to May. And I have them all kitted up. This is my bag of all my charts and those are some flosses that I've chose to do, you know, the colors. And then there's extra fabric in there. So I'll continue to work on this series, but this is the one I'm working on currently. My next whip, is, this is our um, hashtag basic up and away. This is up, up and away country cottage needleworks. And I still just don't have much done. I want to work on this one more, especially as it gets into like springtime. That's just what I was going to say. Spring. Yeah, that's cute. I like it. It's one that I'm going to keep out to work on. So this is the whip that I've worked on the most this week. Again, I've shown it every week for the past three weeks. It's basically the one I've been working on, and I'm even doing it slowly. It's the Santa's List by um, Country Cottage Native Works, and it's the PC home Santa's List with Priscilla and Chelsea stitched along. And... That's as far as I've got. I actually had goofed all my spaces up there and had unpicked like three bars. But I've done that and, um, yeah, and continued a few more. So, 
Anyway, my next one, this is Autumn from the Cricut Collection, and it's our hashtag basic autumn stitch along. And I haven't worked on it in a long time, and I need to. But I have U and then the M, but there's still like the decor stuff. And then the N, and I haven't done anything on this side. It looks good though. I also have autumn that I have not finished. I think my mom is the only one of our, out of the four of us, um, that has completed it. She had it framed and hanging up for the holiday. And then, and that's mine. So I don't have too much left. I just have finished the M and the N and I will be done. But it's cute. And the same with this one, I may pull that out and do fall stitching even during the summer. I don't know, we'll see. So, this next one is another one that I have designed that I haven't released yet because I needed to stitch it because of a fancy gloss. But I have not done very much on it. So, all it has is a little box with some snowflakes. That's cute though. I just, remember, I just remembered one that I didn't pull out. I'm going to have, while you show one of yours, I'll have to grab it. Um, this is, my sister's also stitching this, and she's further along than I am. Hers is so good, too. It looks so cute. This is the Lizzie Kate coming to town, and it's the Santa 2011, and it was a, Sal with coming to town, Sal with Snug Harbor Crafts and keeping up with the Kenyans. And that's as far as I have gotten. Cute. My next one is Waves Galore. This is the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And it was one of my new start Sundays. And I don't have a ton, but it's also pretty small. It's yeah. super cute. I really like the colors on that one. Yeah, that's a series I'd like to pick up during the year. Um, I showed this last week. This, oops, dropping things. This is Country Seasons Prairie Schooler. Um, and I have kitted up to, for all the seasons. And this is, I'm going to hold something else up behind it. The spring. I still haven't done any more on it. The next thing for me to do will be the tulips here, and then I'll fill the grass in. So, I want to finish up one of my other projects to use the Q-snap to put it on. That's why I haven't stitched on it, as I thought I'd get another one finished. My next one is Hello Summer from Plum Street Samplers. And I don't have a ton on that one either, but. Oh, but it's cute. I also really want to stitch that one because there's not a lot to it. So it should go fast. I just need to actually work on that one. It's cute. I like it. Um, the next one is the Farmhouse Christmas Little House Needleworks. Everyone's seen that a million times. And this, I'm doing it all in one. That's as far as I've gotten. Are you going to oh. try to finish that one for Christmas? You know, I would like to, yeah. I have kind of an idea because I want to finish this all in one. And I want to have, um, I have some others that are the, should be the same size, that even though it's huge, that I want to be able to, like, swap it out. It's a thing. I'll have to see if it works. Yeah. But, yeah, that's as far as I've gotten. My next one is the Alice in Wonderland set from Brooks Books. And I've finished the Caterpillar and Tweedledee and Tweedledum, and I'm currently working on the March hair. I want, I really want to see you continue on that one. I love it. I do too. It's hard because it's so big. That's my main thing. But I have the stand on it like always. I just need to actually sit down and work on it. That's how I am with everything though. Yeah. Just sit down and actually do it. 
Okay, the next one is my oldest whip. I've had this one forever. I can't I can't even tell you a year. It is Boyd's Bear and it's Grinval Gr what's his name? Grinville and Beatrice True Love. And the reason I'm stitching this one is because this statue right here I have. I collected these um for years. And that was the wedding cake topper on my wedding cake. So I thought that would be cute to have that stitched. My son's friend is now here and he's knocking and my dog's going crazy. Somebody's getting the door. So this is where I'm at. I love it. Um, the reason I, so I got frustrated with it up under here, up under the part that's twisted there, there's these gold hearts wherever you can see. And I did like what, um, it called for. And so I started doing it with, uh, I, or I bought Krennic to do it with instead and somewhere over in the greenery, or was it the screen? One of the greeneries I goofed on the counting. Uh, there's the error. And I've got to figure it out and just move on. So, yeah. Hi, guys. <laughs> so, anyway, that's my oldest whip. And it will be big. I did it on 11 count. Try to make it as big as possible. And when I look at it, I want to stitch on it. You should. My next one is my last one. This is Silent Night from Country Cottage Needleworks. And I have just a little start on that one. That looks really good. I'm going to see really quickly if I can find the other one I was talking about. Jordan, I'm sure you can entertain them. Hi. <laughs> So I forgot to pull this one out and of course I want to show it. I, the designer is some crazy girl I know named Jordan. Anyway, so I've completed hello autumn and this is, I'm working on hello winter and it is, I don't know if you can see that fab or the fabric. Opalescent. But it, yeah, it sparkles so pretty. So I need to get that out and work on it again. I love the colors. It's super cute. So there's that one. Um, I think that's all of my actual whips. I have other things that I plan on continuing to stitch for the year. And I which pulled are, out of those that I wanted to work on too. Oh, so. which one of them is the wordplay sal and we're That's doing a hashtag wordplay word sal and i have the fabric and i just got to pull some colors from my stash and this one that i pulled out was february so skip in january go in february i also want to work on those and then i want to work on the i want to do these one a month the hands-on design year of celebrations and the one I've done January and it took me like a day and a half, but I didn't work on it that much either. So I think I could do one in a day if I had enough time to dedicate to it. Yeah. Yeah. If it was just a day at home stitching. Um, and then I'm going to continue the, um, hometown holidays, hometown holidays. Yes. The next one I have kitted up to work on is needle workshop. And I've got all the flosses in my bag ready to go and my fabric. I just need an open Q-snap or change over a Q-snap or something. I also want to do these one a month, but I couldn't find the charts. They're the, this is kitted up for June. It's the year in chalk. Oh, yeah. So I have my fabric and my floss for June. And then I have all my working copies in here. And then that's from working on May, but I couldn't find the originals. 
And I think I only actually have like four or five of them. After I finish the Christmas, I think I only have four left to do and I will have that whole year done. Yeah. Um, I also plan on doing the hands-on design um, that J Jordan just showed the... Um, ear and chalk. What? Yes. No, not ear and chalk. The, I'm going to finish that. But oh, the other year celebration? Yes, year celebration. And then I've kind of debated, I know there's stitchers, I know East Coast Stitcher, East Coast Crafter, East Coast, I just went blank on her, on her YouTube name, and it's easy, is it East Coast Stitcher, East Coast Crafter, Stitcher, I don't know, I don't know. Um, and Misty, and there's a few other people, anyway, that they're doing the Prairie Year. And it's not the prairie year charts. They're just spending this year working on prairie schooler charts. And I have my four seasons to work on or country seasons, but I also have the monthly charts and I have a few other seasonal charts. And so I would like to work on those as well. They're, yeah. I need to find more stitching time. Yeah. I don't need to sleep. I need to stop sleeping. If we could just not have to sleep, I would get so much more done. Right? I only sleep like six hours a night anyway. I also want to work more on the houses from Waxing Moon Designs. Um, yeah. These are only two of the charts, and then we have Christmas and Halloween. Halloween. The Christmas one, it doesn't look the same because it, we yeah, bought we it as a PDF okay. download. I um, saw it, and I wasn't willing to wait for it. I, I think I'm going to do the patriotic houses after I finish the Halloween houses because I am going to finish the Halloween, the last Halloween house before I start another set. See, and I'm either going to start patriotic. I was going to do winter, but now I'm thinking I won't have them done for winter because we're already in middle of January. So yeah. that's where I was thinking I might start um, patriotic unless she comes out with another one real quick before I get it started and then yeah. I'll hurry and buy it whether I buy the PDF or I have a um, mail it to me and start it so but that's another series see I have lots of stuff I want and then this year I want to finish this series I haven't even started them I have them kitted up though um, this is the Lizzie Kate four seasons and they're they're really small they're only like 65 by 75 61 by 75 so they're really small, but I have them kitted up. I have the fabric cut. They were going to be um, mania starts and then mania went downhill fast for me. So I think I'm going to start summer so that I can have it done for summer. Um, and then I want to get all of There's, them. Depending on what your plans are, they're small enough. You could probably start spring. Yeah. It I'm just depends on your spring plans. and finishing it at the end of spring. So yeah. It kind of depends on when I start it. I do need to go get the fancy flosses still. Oh. So. Um, I also, we are going to have a retreat pattern to stitch for the Midwest Cross Stitch Retreat. Um, that's the pattern we'll receive that Priscilla's de designing and then we'll take it there and finish it there. Uh, we won't be showing that one. It's yeah, until after the retreat. After the retreat, um, we can show it. So um, that's in plans to stitch. And then also there's a smalls giveaway at the retreat. So I need to stitch um, something for that. And, and I, I don't know those patterns tonight. I don't know if that smalls is a secret or not. Um, I was going to keep it a secret and show it just, you know, we'll do like a little retreat to show. Yeah. yeah. So we'll show it then. Okay. Um, so that, that we'll have those stitching that we'll be working on that we won't show until after. So anyway, but yeah, lots of, lots of whips, lots of things to stitch on. I have, I mean, yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. I'm a and little overwhelmed. Is, <laughs> is the thing is, is, um, just in the basket past me. There's so many other things. I've, I've actually struggled when, because so, so many people have been stating their plans. My plans are basically stuff I've already been working on. The wordplay, um, hometown holidays, farmhouse Christmas, 
you know, those things there, these are my whips and this is what I can plan on continuing with is these series. But when I look at that basket, there's so many other things back there that are calling my name. I would like to stitch that. Sorry, my kids are loud. That's no, okay. Um, anyway, it just, it overwhelms me. Yeah. There's the house trios. That's another one I didn't mention that I plan on work, continuing to work on. So I want to do the one a month of year in chalk and year of celebrations. And then I want to do the Lizzie Kate seasons. And those are all that I want to finish like the whole series this year. But I feel like they're all small. And so it's reasonable to think that I can finish them. Yeah. And then I like besides those and wordplay. I don't want to do any new starts. Series starts or start yeah. starts. Well, I mean, like the, the houses, I'll do the new starts for like, because that's a series thing. But the, I've already started that series. Um, but like the others, because I have a lot of other stuff I want to stitch, but I have so many going. So, I mean, I'll have more starts after I finish what I have. But I'm going to try to have no other starts that aren't series that I've already worked on until I get stuff done. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I haven't been starting a ton because I've been finishing, but then like, like I finished one of these, um, the hometown holiday. Yeah. Hometown holidays. But then I haven't started more like, but I'm still working on the series. So I, yeah. And I have it all charted up. I mean, here's all my, charts um and fabric flosses you know to that i need to do the series so yeah i have working copies and my copy copy my originals so anyway i yeah that's all i got i think somewhere actually i have my uh victoria moto for like a haul i have my victoria moto but i didn't bring it down so i'll just show it next week okay i don't have any haul okay. i've been really good about not buying haul lately me too like the that's just my monthly subscription but then last was it our last week video i was going through and trying to find a pattern or something in my box of patterns and I was discovering things that I had forgotten that I had. What was it you was looking for? Because you, I know you found, we were on the phone and you're like, oh my gosh, I forgot I had that. Yeah. That one. Oh, red, so. white, and bloom. Was yeah, one. red, white, and bloom. And then um, in the meadow, it has a snowman on it. Yes, that one. I'm not really like to stitch that one. That one's a cute one. Yeah, and like they're really cute, but I don't want to start them until I've finished some of the other things because those aren't even series, which is nice um, because then it's you're finished and you're done with it. But I have some other things in my pile that I want to get done first. Yeah. Okay. Try to keep it at a reasonable level. We did have a winner from last week. Oh, that's right. So I was giving away another copy of this pattern since it's finally finished. Um, and the winner this week was Stitching Sunshine Ray. Awesome. And I, um, we have the stuff ready for, because one, Kim, that was one of the winners of that, mm -hmm. wanted the and printout. Got... Yeah, wanted the printout versus the PDF. So I've got those and we'll get yeah, them. Yeah, I have mom print them on the printer at work because it's like really nice. It's a nice printer. printer. Yes, and it, it that way highlighting it doesn't smear and stuff. Yeah. So anyway, we've got that all ready to go and ready to ship. Yeah. So, so um, email us at basicxstitches at gmail dot com, and that'll be down below. Yeah. And hey. then also, I will link my new pattern because I'm still super excited. And it's so cute. It really is, and I love how it looks in person versus. Even, I mean, it looks really good and really pretty right there, but you don't get the full effect of it. And yeah. that's with all stitching, but. At least the colors are better now than they were when I was trying to show them before. Like the, this blue always had a hard time showing up the correct color. Probably but now that it's all done, it shows up a lot better. 
background it you know it's behind the block that you've finished it on and stuff too yeah so yeah that's super cute you've done well i do plan on making more holidays and stuff in that style too so that'll be cute that'll be fun yeah okay that's it is anything else I don't think so. It's everything I had written down. Okay. Winner or Stitch Long. So continue to use um, hashtags on Instagram or um, and tag us in it if you're doing the house trio cell, mm -hmm. the wordplay cell, what's up, up, and away, or up and away, basic up and away. Mm, basic Sorry. autumn. Basic autumn. Is that all of them? I think so. That I think of. Yeah, I think that's yeah. all. Yep. So, and they'll. And I'll still be using all those hashtags because I haven't finished any of them. I finished basic up and away. House trio and wordplay. I will be continuing. They are an ongoing because there's so many in the, that series. Um, yeah, that's good. So just continue to use them. We're going to continue this year and we're going to work on them. So, and it's fun to see others and, and when you're all working on the same, uh, set, you know, it's fun to follow each other. Um, and then we need to figure out if we're going to do, or when we're going to do a winter stitch along too. Yeah, Grandma mentioned it to me the other day because she's got some stuff she's been working on and she said she wants to have it finished before next winter. So maybe we'll have to do winter in July. You know how they do Christmas in July or something like that so we can have it finished for next winter. Yeah. So. Okay. Anyway. Sounds good. Um, yeah, I think that's everything this week. So my Etsy shop is www.littlestitchgirl.etsy.com and then my Instagram is littlestitchgirl94 and my Instagram is jamiexstitch and then Jenna Lynn is on Instagram as weezaxstitch and Grandma Deanne is on Instagram as grandmaxstitch mm -hmm. we all enjoy uh, following others on Instagram as well yeah so. okay well, thank you for watching, and we will see you next week. Bye. I forgot to show some of my whips. She so has more than I do. do. do that. <laughs> what? Well, big ones. I said, you have more than I do. As I was pulling everything out, I had set this pillowcase full of them to the side, and so forgot about them. The one is my Dona Stitch Alice in Wonderland, and I have, like... So little done, but I'm doing it one over one, so it looks like a lot smaller than it is. Yes. There's still a lot of stitches there because it's one over one. I want to work on this again. I know. Looking at it, I'm like, I want to work on it. And then I have this one. I don't even know where the stitching is, what side it's on. I probably should have. Oh, it's up there. I've done very little on this one. That's all there is. But that again is one over one. So it's a lot. But it's supposed to be quite big. Is that full coverage? Yes. Okay. It is um, the Salt Lake City, City LDS Temple. And I was working on it for my in-laws. And then kind of gave up because it's big. Um, <laughs> But I would still like to do it because it's really pretty. And then this, I need to work out all of these. I forgot about that one. This is the Disney princesses that was on Etsy at Frogwood Manor. And again, like it's full coverage and there's a lot of confetti. So it's really slow going. This is Cinderella. And, and this that's is her Jeff face and her boob. 
Yep. Yeah. The middle of it is right on Cinderella's boob. And I thought that was really funny when I was starting it because I was like, what, 16? Mm -hmm. This is my oldest whip. And then I guess that one's not a whip. So that's the fabric for the fairy tale creatures, legendary creatures. So it was last year's um, stitch along for Clouds Factory. Oh. Okay, those are the rest of my whips. Yeah, I, I don't have any other whips. I was cleaning it up and then I, she started showing me all these patterns she wanted to do. And I said, yeah, I know I have a ton I want to do. And we debated whether we should go through our bin of um, patterns and things that have kitted up. And then we decided, mm -mm. <laughs> These are just some of my patterns. And, the, <laughs> and then she realized that she had forgot some. Do you want me to show, lift up my bin just to show you while we're doing this? I had pulled out these, the Soda Stitch. Um, fairy tales and said that I hadn't worked on those at all and mom was like oh well you also didn't show your Donna stitch and then I remembered I had a whole bag of big whips okay I don't know how long I hold it up I'm strong but this is all kitted up patterns some of the very back is the boxes of my bags the Ikea bags I put it on but there's there's multiple in between here like that you don't see and like this one so this is the prairie schooler so I've got all of them in there so there's a ton it's a collection and I need to stop buying and just stitch what I have but easier collecting said craft supplies and charts and See, this stitching is the, them are two different hobbies yes there's so many i have that i would love to stitch and get to that i just all these i've had these for years and collected them on the um raise the roof patterns and yeah and like this i've got fabric you know with some of them and all those I have. I want to do these. Those are little too. They'd be fast. Yeah. So this that I'm going through right now is all my little ones. The I want to go through and organize mine by holiday and season. Yeah, I think that would help me as well because I'm always searching through trying to find everything. But. And I was looking and I hit this random section of my box that has like a bunch of 4th of July stuff and then like a bunch of winter stuff and I had just forgotten like my Yankee Doodles. Uh, yeah, I got that one. That one's... And what's this one called? Brave Hearts, Red, White, and Bloom and I'd forgotten that I had gotten that one. Um, Knee High by the 4th of July and then it switches into Christmas and has both of these which I have this one completely kitted up and the fabric and everything and I just need to do it. And then I was going to do this one to match it. Yeah. I, for prairie year, I could literally do the prairie years. I have the one and two. I have the fabric and all the flosses. This but, is turned into a box haul. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't want to go through all mine cause then I get overwhelmed and frustrated and don't know what I want to stitch. Yeah. Not doing it. <laughs> Because <laughs> I have all this snap seal last. You have a good section of this snap sock to do. Crochet but, book that I got from my great grandma. So, anyway. Oh. Okay. Anyway, that was just to add on to show Jordan's other four whips she didn't show and it went I on. Know why moment. my lighting is weird. Okay. So. Okay. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye.